I met a guy yesterday who's taking on the Iron Man Challenge later this month. He's a teacher in uh, the Pittsburgh School District, but he's not going to go at it alone. He's actually gaining strength from challenges others have faced. Robert Lamontagne, Ann Nolan. 140 people. Mary Randall. Dan Lux. One for each mile. It's not my jersey, it's like it's their jersey. David John will compete in the Ironman in Lake Placid later this month. 2.4 miles of swimming, 112 miles of biking, and a 26.2 mile run. The jersey helps me a lot because it distracts me from what I'm doing, especially during my runs. But they're more than names to David John. No, he doesn't know each one personally, but he turns to them for motivation. When I'm feeling my worst, I think of my mom and dad. Um, and I say their names and remember them. Um, when I'm feeling my worst, I, I think of Katie Paisley um, and Amanda Conroe. And they're right here, and I touch them. John's parents, Katie and Amanda, all had cancer, a disease that's afflicted each one of the 140 names he wears. I like thinking about, like, half of my jersey is, is survivors, and I love thinking about those people and what they went through or what they're currently going through. Um, but also, I think about those that uh, cancer took their lives, and I like to reflect on their family members that are dealing with the loss of their loved one. These thoughts push John to go one more mile. As I'm running, I say the name out loud, and I think about how I got the name, what that person means to me, and it gives me a lot of peace, and it gives me drive. To train, and will give him drive to finish. To complete the 140-mile Ironman, one name at a time. Now, as I said, David John doesn't know every single one of the people named on his jersey. He t actually turned to social media to get the names as well as friends, families, and coworkers. And he said he was able to get the names pretty quickly, which made him sad, but also he encouraged him to do this challenge and wow. take it on to represent these these people. He mentioned a name in there, uh, Amanda Conroe, and a lot of you might remember that name. Um, a little girl who had just turned six back in February when she passed away. Yeah. Uh, the local newspaper it had followed her story as they talked about the uh, palliative care sure. uh, as she was uh, battling cancer. And uh, that's actually where I met him at Amanda's funeral. Mm -hmm. And I remember hearing about this story and being like, uh, this is a story that we have to tell at some point. And uh, July 26th or 25th, 26th. Uh, mm -hmm. it's coming up um, in Lake Placid. Um, and he never met Amanda. No. Like he had followed her story and was so inspired. I think all of us, it, well, so many people in Rochester had never met Amanda but knew her through mm -hmm. her story and, you know, um, and she certainly lives on that way, mm -hmm. you know, through those great stories and her parents are such wonderful people. But this guy, I, I tell you, I'm so impressed. I mean, it had to be hard, to, hard story to tell. I mean, he got emotional. I'm, you probably got emotional too. I did, I did. I mean, unfortunately, I think Probably you guys too. We all know somebody who sure. we've either lost, the, sure. passed away from cancer, or sure. had affected cancer, by it, yeah. affected by it in some way. But it's incredible to see someone taking on. But how he put it, he said, running a triathlon or being in a triathlon is such a self, a self, selfish sport. You do it all on your own. All the training is by yourself. You compete by yourself. It's a lot of time spent alone. And he feels like he's on a team with this jersey. Oh, like yeah. he said, he, he says he says the name out loud. So if you see him running or training, you're going to see him talking to himself. Mm -hmm. And what he's doing, he's saying the names of the people on his jersey. And he's thinking about their stories, even yeah. the ones he has never met. He's, he's got uh, a lot been in of touch with their family and friends. And he knows a little bit about each one. He's, he's got a lot of angels so, cheering him on. Mm -hmm. there, there is no doubt about that. He's I love that. Put together a website and put a little bio to some of the people who's on his jersey. That's great. So mm -hmm. uh, if you want to Google him and, and find out about his effort and we wish him luck on that big triathlon coming up soon when we come back today another cool day for this time of year but milder weather is on the way marty will tell us when it